Japan does not have an army. It will not strike first. This is enshrined in Japan's constitution. Japan took this pacifist vow at the end of the Second World War. But this is the 21st century. And Japan now wants to em embrace the military. Threats from North Korea and China are on the rise. Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, wants to give his country the ability to strike first if needed. Our next report tells you all about Japan's new war strategy. Shinzo Abe wants to acquire new strike weapons. Weapons that can hit missile launch pads in North Korea and keep warmongering China at bay. Japan is changing its philosophy of war, adopting the best form of defense, attack. This could end Japan's era of pacifism. World War II ended with US forces occupying Japan. The constitution adopted pacifism. The Japanese people forever renounce war and the threat or use of force. Today, Japan, led by Shinzo Abe, wants to change this. And with good reason. Last year, North Korea launched two ballistic missiles that fell in Japanese waters. Over the last 100 days, Japan had to peacefully watch China send its longest dispatch of vessels to Senkaku Islands in East China Sea. Senkaku Islands belong to Japan. Instead of engaging China with military might, Japan went to international media to raise its concerns. Abe believes Japan can no longer hide behind the weak shield of pacifism. North Korea's nuclear program and China's military incursions add weight to his arguments. Since his election in 2012, Abe has introduced a series of war bills. The most sweeping changes made to defense laws since the end of World War II. In 2013, Abe announced a five-year military expansion plan, calling it proactive pacifism. In 2015, despite public opposition, the Japanese military legislation was passed. This allowed Japan to participate in foreign conflicts to help out allies. Earlier, it could go to war only in self-defense. In 2018, Shinzo Abe activated Japan's Marine Unit, which had been disbanded after World War II. In the same year, they conducted Japan's biggest ever military exercise. Simulations of air combat, ballistic missile defense and amphibious landings, all aimed at countering North Korea and China. In 2019, Japan began developing supersonic guide bombs and hypersonic missiles. Remember, Japan is a nuclear state. Isn't that enough to keep adversaries at bay? In 1976, Japan promised not to use a nuclear weapon. But even before his election, Shinzo Abe said Japan's constitution does not ban possession of nuclear weapons. He wants to keep a minimum set of tactical nuclear warheads. This is the modern Japan, equipped to the hilt and ready to strike, but hesitant due to a gruesome past. Bureau Report, we are World as One.